How to do y'all tables here. Got another update. Level 93. Finally uh, buckled down. So trying to clear, <laughs> trying to finish doing T17s, which I realized that I was not capable of yet until I started actually investing <clears throat> some money into the build. And, uh, you know, we're pretty much at that point. <clears throat> so I dropped about 15 div. Got ourselves a skin of the lords. Not the most ideal situation. Um, I would much would much prefer to not have the green socket, uh, but beggars can't be choosers at this point. Um, I want to start. I want to start doing other content <clears throat> with this build. So you know, we really just needed a new chess piece. Every single gem, it's quality. You know, looking very nice. Uh, we ended up hitting first try a twenty one twenty Ray Specter. Uh, that officially puts us at level 25. Now, mind you, you can either get the extra level from your shield or you can get it from your convoking one. Preferably, you would want it from both because, that you know, that scales everyone's level instead of just the SRS. But, you know, it is what it is. Regardless, we're level 25. We're running with the Tukohama Vanguard for the 25% exposure for single target. We're running a Pale Seraphim for the increased damage taken. And lastly, we're running a meat stack because unbeknownst to me, the content creator that you've trusted thus far, I was unaware that the meat sack was back in the game. And I was also unaware that he actually still gives the buff to other minions. This changes things considerably. Um, this is a wonderful specter to have. You know, when we had the perfect meat sack last league, even if you put it as your main specter in the POB, it never changed. It never changed the life of the minion, at least the numerical value. Nor did it change it in the tooltip, right? So that was a manual, kind of a custom mod you had to put into your POB to essentially show that change, right? Now, take this with a grain of salt, y'all. I am, you know, I'm not a hundred percent sure that this is the case but what from everyone's telling me apparently they're still giving the buff you know it's you know i a grain of salt i wouldn't really know how to specifically test it that's where we're at um i think i might try tweeting uh local identity seeing seeing if he can kind of give a confirmation to whether this is in fact true or if it's just meat sack for the purposes of a detonate dead desecrate pool, right? So for now, I'm running it just in case. Uh, but I'll see if I can get you guys an answer soon. So we got our skin of the lords, right? Catalyst, Pearson Force, all that stuff. Everything's you know set. <clears throat> we rolled both of these on raw. We've already went. We already went through all this. Um, I still would like to get a new pair of boots, preferably with some chaos res. Uh, that would be really primo. And if possible, avoid chill and avoid freeze so I can, you know, use a different pantheon. Because there are there are definitely better pantheons than Brian King. But that's going to be a bit of a pretty penny. Let's get on to our shield here. Crafted this last night. Forgive me that I don't have... <laughs> I, think I, I think I have some footage of me rolling it. But I, don't, I think that the file got corrupted on this particular... Uh, I tend to, uh, you know, run by the kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, so this is, I'm going to show you guys, you know, essentially how I crafted this. I didn't really go, I didn't really bother to go to Craft of Exile to find the most efficient way. I just thought that this made sense, and it's worked out for me pretty much every league. These shields are, they're just not on the market. They always have to be crafted for the most part. I mean, if they are on there, they're extremely expensive. I'm talking like upwards of 30 something div, right? Because that's what I end up, because I, you know, I ended up making an extra one tonight. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're very expensive. And it's not even that they're very expensive to craft, but they are a very specialized niche craft. And those kind of command price. So how I ended up crafting this, I looked at fossil crafting, right? And I was like, you know, I think this is a really good way to, to kind of hone in on what I'm looking for, right? So we have our bone spirit shield. If you notice, the minion life suffix has a life tag. Well, so does generic life. Right, so I can run pristine fossils with bound fossils, and I can get the life that I need, and I can get the minion damage. We can like guarantee our minion mods over and over and over, right? And that also gives us a chance at plus one minion skill gems. <clears throat> right, you come down here, recover three three to five percent life on block. That also has a life tag, right? So in my mind, I'm thinking, let's just run a dual dual resonator, right? <clears throat> bound fossil plus pristine. 
and we'll have a sh we'll have a better shot to hit generic life, minion life. We'll hit all the minion mods that we're wanting, and we're gonna have a higher chance to hit the actual suffix that we're looking for, right? So in my mind, this makes a lot of sense. Um, there might be a more efficient way to do it, you know, with like a quad resonator, four different fossils. But there's also a lot more trading involved in that. You run into the issue where, like, you don't want to buy too much because if you end up hitting it early, you're just kind of stuck with all that stuff. <clears throat> then you have to resell. Then you have to trade some more. And I just, I'm not, I'm not interested in that, right? So I just, you know, I knew it was going to take a second to hit because we're using, you know, less fossils. So I spent, you know, I think I spent like five to seven div making this, right? Rolling and rolling and rolling until. I got what I wanted, <clears throat> or at least what I was genuinely, you know, happy with, right? And so I took a bunch of pristine fossils, took a bunch of bound fossils, and I put them in the resonator. And if you don't know, I'm going to show it to you right now. You take your pristine, left click in the socket, left click in the socket, right click on the item, right? I'm going to, oh, well, this is corrupted, but yeah, I think you understand, like, the idea. All right, I think I have a... I don't want to use that one. That already has a minion thing on it. And this is my rock cell tab. Uh, here, this one's like whatever. I don't really care about this one, right? So, you know, once it's in there, boom. That's all you got to do. And I was just doing that over and over and over, right? And as you level up, right? We're level 93, right? This is only going to get better, right? Because we're going to spec into here and get tireless. And then we're kind of coming down here and get constitution, right? So as you're pool of health increases the reliability and the more health you're going to get back from that suffix um, and so as you progress and as you ramp in your levels you're going to get more tanky and you're you're going to feel it too 100 percent. so that's the shield right we've also gone through and done some work on our minion jewels right so we got that one i still have some upgrading to do we still need to make all of our minion jewels look like this one right here, where we have the minion use skill recently and the max life. And, and I'm still working on getting like min maxing all of those. And I'm not still not super happy with this one because it's only 8% life. I'd rather have 12, uh, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, we're, we're still in the process of getting all these together. And then we have our tattoos. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So far we have twelve, and we can, you know, we're gonna end up doing more, right? Because I ended up having a fair bit more intelligence, right? Because of our helmet here. And that's kind of afforded us a little bit more life on our minions, right? So we got twelve of these. And it's it's nice. You can probably I'm probably gonna end up doing a few more. We only need like two hundred and eighty int on this build as per our I believe our convoking wand and so yeah that's kind of more or less where the build is i'm leveling and empower in my um second weapon swap i've i just got all my specters out and i'm not interested in swapping back in it's level two right now it's probably like three quarters of the way done we'll get it to level three and then we'll finally be able to corrupt it and if we hit three or four, whatever, it's replacing our fire penetration. And then <clears throat> our SRS will be like level 32 or something like that. And yeah, and then, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'll be T17 ready. Uh, we'll probably try to start killing some Ubers. And yeah, we'll go from there. So the build's looking really good. I think the last thing I'm going to end up doing is crafting like, like a real true, tried and true minion wand with, you know, a minion spell gem mod instead of a fire spell. Um, that's just, you know, going to benefit our minions as a, as you know, as a family, as a whole chaos res is a bit lower than I would like it, uh, to be, but at least it's positive. It could be worse. Anyways, boys and girls, that is it. I leave you with this wonderful build and the update. And I hope you guys are having a blessed weekend and I hope you guys have enjoyed the build and enjoyed your time with my channel and, um, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, you really made my league um, uh, one to remember personally for me and my channel. So I do appreciate you guys being here. I hope you guys have had a great time. And yeah, we'll see you guys in another video. Y'all be good. Take care of yourselves.